Fuchsia the new languages from Google. The new core of Google's Fuchsia OS. What exactly is Fuchsia? What is Fuchsia for? This and more on this video. Fuchsias are popular garden shrubs, and once planted can live for years with a minimal amount of care. The majority of fuchsia species are native to Central and South America. Fuchsia is a vivid purplish-red color that comes back year after year without any problem. Google has adopted the name of this plant for its new language OS. Yes just like that Fuchsia is an open-source capability-based operating system currently being developed by Google. The project appeared on a self-hosted form of Git in August 2016 without any official announcement. Pink plus purple equals equals Fuchsia, a new operating system. The GitHub project suggests Fuchsia can run on many platforms and the Swift programming language was committed and supporting in November 2017. In January 2018, Google published a guide on how to run Fuchsia on Pixelbooks. A Fuchsia device was added to the Android ecosystem in January 2019 and was described as one of Google's experiments around new concepts for operating systems. Google announced the official website of the development project in July 2019. Fuchsia's user interface and apps are written with Flutter. A software development kit allowing cross-platform development abilities for Fuchsia, Android and iOS. Android and Chrome OS may be Google's best-known software ventures. But the Fuchsia is actually getting terrain to be the third operating system. Fuchsia looks totally different than any other mobile operating system. Including Android, but that could be the point. The fact is that there's currently a ton of mystery surrounding the operating system. What will happen to Android, is one of the major questions asked of Google's Fuchsia. What exactly is Fuchsia? Fuchsia is a little different from Android and Chrome OS in that it's not based on Linux. Instead, it's based on a new Google-developed kernel called Magenta. According to Google, Magenta is aimed at modern phones and modern personal computers. So it wouldn't be surprising to one day we see Fuchsia appear on our smartphones. What is Fuchsia for? The fact is that we just don't know what Fuchsia is being built for just yet. But Google has released a new programming language policy for Fuchsia two days ago. And speculation stating to roll around about the development OS that some belief could be its non-Linux successor to Android. Instead of a Linux kernel, the core of Google's Fuchsia OS is a Zircon microkernel to communicate with hardware and boot a system that runs Fuchsia. Google describes Fuchsia as specifically, not Linux, and a modular, capability-based operating system. While Google hasn't yet detailed its intentions for Fuchsia, there has been plenty of rumors that it plans to replace Android and Chrome OS with it in the near future. Fuchsia as a more advanced project brings support for the most popular programming languages like C, C++, Dart, Rust, and Go. Google says Fuchsia OS is not about replacing Android or Chrome OS. Is that true? Who knows? Only the future have the answer. But it's time to pay attention to this emerging OS. For more information visit. Peace out. You are awesome. Need advice on growing your YouTube channel? Want more views and subscribers? Then join our channel. We can grow together. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you. Next time.